Hi, I am Nayana Karunaratna, hairdresser, beautician, trainer and an entrepreneur. I am featured on today's episode of Ask Me on High TV. So we are going to start today with the first segment of Actually Me. So I am ready for it. You can ask me. Hi, Naina. Hi. What is your guilty pleasure? Chocolates, I think sweets. That's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> what is one lesson you wish you could teach yourself? I think again controlling the chocolates and sweets. I am quite disciplined otherwise. What is the best way to run a meeting? To be prepared, to be organized, to be punctual. What is a book that influenced your way of thinking? I wouldn't say so much a book, but uh, I would say lots of people. What is an invention that you consider priceless? I think, I think it's the internet. When did you last get angry? Maybe, maybe three, four weeks ago. I can't remember. Who is your guardian angel? I don't have a guardian angel, but I do have people whom I really respect and admire and appreciate for guiding me. What are you allergic to? <laughs> Food-wise, uh, nothing. I think I'm allergic to smelly people. What is the word you say the most? I don't know. I start. What is your pump-up beverage? Anything boiling hot. Tea or coffee. What is your bathroom jam? I'm a very, I'm a very boring, quick person in the bathroom. What is one trait you look for in a new employee? most important thing at the moment is discipline and commitment to your daily routine. That's what we are asking for from the employees at the moment. Describe your lifestyle in one word. Hardworking and fairly boring. Rate your first supervisor on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay, I, I had a boss. My first boss was Janet and uh, so straight after my training I worked under her. So. 1 to 10 is 10 out of 10. What was your worst food experience? Having frogs for dinner in China. Where is your go-to holiday destination? I am really now keen on seeing Burma, Tibet, Vietnam, that part of the world I really want to go next time because I just uh, <clears throat> did it. Uh, we, we went to Turkey a few weeks ago which was very fan nice. What do you recognize as your building blocks? If you are talking about about me itself, I think it's my, my positive qualities. What is your definition of the word contentment? Contentment to me is actually the complete, uh, complete uh, achievement for the day. Could you survive a day without your mobile phone? I have thought of that, but I think I can. It would be hard, but I think I can. What is something you cannot stand? Mm, I told you before it was body odor, and I think liars, I would say. What is an app that changed the world, according to you? WhatsApp. What's the first thing you do in the morning? The first thing I do in the morning is look at the time, and can you believe I always, always wake up five minutes before that? and I switch the alarm off. So I'm quite good in the morning. I stretch myself for about 20 seconds and then get out of bed. What is your favorite personal quote? Be positive. What would you never do as a beautician? I will never ever publicly or privately ever recommend even a Panadol to somebody. Anything to be swallowed orally is not the job of a beautician. What is your secret vice? I think it's um, Hindi films. Road trip with Ranil Vikramasinghe or desert safari with Sunil Perra? Definitely Sunil Perra. Definitely. <laughs> Why not? We can at least laugh and sing. What's your favorite movie? I can't pinpoint one, but quite a few. What is your retirement plan? Taking a back seat, but not retiring. I would like to continue teaching as long as I can. Would you rather know when you're going to die or how you're going to die? I don't want to be on a wheelchair. I don't want to be uh, uh, an invalid where other people have to do for me. 
and of course i think we all wish for a quick death where you don't know when it is coming but uh, what i am actually preparing for it mentally what brings out the inner child in you uh, i think a romantic film or a novel not child the youth in me <laughs> the the young girl in me when are you most confident ah i am most confident when i am faced with a problem when i don't have a problem i'm pretty relaxed the moment i have a challenge i am fully alert i'm 100% my my brain works 100% and i'm really alert what is the most significant difference in your life compared to where you were 20 years ago i would say it's the freedom i would say the spending is less now because my family is children are grown up uh, it, it's more the freedom and the time i have with the change that i feel what do you do when you are angriest shout i really shout because i firmly believe i firmly believe when you make me angry i keep it in my heart and i'll die of a heart attack i don't want to die for you i'll throw it back at you you get heart attack who is someone who realized the true potential in you janet was number one i think and now i think uh, the current world president i am the asia zone president for the world uh, F- federation of hairdressers i think he really thinks i have a lot of potential and i have capability what was your first vehicle it was a um, station wagon i think it was a nissan or something i remember i paid cash 92000 rupees and i i bought a second hand station wagon i was very happy with it who or what was your first love crush uh, the person who i had the crush up to today does know i had a crush so let it be extreme cold or extreme hot <laughs> extreme hot are you i can't take any cold <laughs> not any cold <laughs> any hot never mind i'll tolerate what is something that excites you something new will always excite me something new uh, something new to do and uh, will always excite me i i like to i like to think of something do it and plan the final result it really excites me Uh, it was it was actually a quite a different kind of an interview quite uh, no one has asked me so many questions in any interview and it, it was good i mean it it gets you thinking and it takes you through the your life and uh, pretty easy to answer when you really try to tell the truth so i i think it was quite exciting and challenging So my second segment is who am I? So let's see what it is and uh, who I am. Who is Nayana Karunaratne's favorite designer? When I was young I really admired Veera uh, Gurusekara she is no more. Um I like Purnima's work especially for bridals. Of course there are a whole heap of uh, new people. I like uh, Darshi Sari so quite a few of them. can nayana karunaratna sing certainly not i always thought why didn't god let me sing i wanted to sing like lata mangeshkar why can't i sing like lata mangeshkar then at the same time i realized lata mangeshkar can't cut hair so i think i'm quite happy with cutting hair i i can't sing for toffee so i don't even bother what is nayana karunaratna's favorite beauty tip actually my favorite beauty tip i would say is the diet The, there is no question i am a beautician i can talk about facials but the actual tr- truth is the food we take in so the loads and loads of vegetables and fruits and water is what i recommend who is nayana karunaratne's travel buddy johan peeris none other than johan peeris he is the best he is everyone knows who he is fellow hairdresser he is such fun we we travel once a year to world championships where he is a judge and i am the asia zone president and we try to do at least two or three days of travel together in last year we did the uh, nice and monte carlo he is v- real fun what does nayana karunaratne do when she is angry shout i don't dash things what is nayana karunaratne's most what is she most passionate about 
putting the best of myself. That's what I am really passionate about. That's something I really work on every day. Where does Nayana Karnaratna live? I live in Kolpiti, very close to the Royal College. What does Nayana Karnaratna like to do when she's on vacation? Travel, walk around. I really, I really like nature. I, uh, I'm not a person who loves to lie down in bed or by the side of the pool or something like that. I, I like to walk, I like to see things, I like to explore places and of course eat. Does Nayana Karnaratna enjoy being a beautician? Of course I do. Of course I do. I, I had to fight for this uh, profession when I was a young girl. I think it was a hard decision for my mother to make uh, allow me to do this uh, job. Uh, it was a bit confusing. I don't think they knew at that time, 40 years ago, that this was a good profession. What is Nayana Karnaratna's superpower? I think it's confidence. How many languages does Nayana Karnaratna speak? I speak Sinhalese and English. I can understand a fair amount of Tamil. I can understand a very good amount of Hindi and I'm desperately trying to learn. So I can read and write Hindi. Who is Nayana Karnaratna's beauty guru? I think, uh, I think I got very good solid foundation level training from Janet. And uh, not only was she my teacher, but as a beauty guru for her personal appearance and beauty and uh, maintenance of herself, she was the supreme uh, example. What is Nayana Karunaratna's phobia? Maybe ghost, I don't know. If Nayana Karunaratna wasn't in the beauty industry, what would she have been doing? This choice was there for me when I was young. I, Along with hairdressing, I did dancing, Bharatanatyam, and I did my Arangetram also. I was very keen on dancing. Um, my mother told me, take one of the two as a profession and further study. I, I opted for hairdressing, so I suppose if I didn't do hairdressing, I would have been a dancer. I would have been a dance teacher, maybe. What is Nayana Karnaratna's favorite hairstyle? My personal hairstyle is what I'm wearing now. It's convenient and it's... Uh, I like this length because I do wear a lot of sari. What is Nayana Karnaratna's favorite color? Definitely white. Definitely white. I get lots of complaints that I wear too much white. But definitely white and all the pastel shades. I don't like black. I don't like brown. Brown, black, dark blue dark maroon, I don't like those colors. I do, I mean, I have maybe pants, maybe skirts, but generally all pastel shades and definitely white. What are Nana Karnaratna's hobbies? Um, it's not a hobby, it's a necessity to cook, but I have learned to enjoy cooking now. But hobbies wise, I think uh, the two things I really do is tapestry. I do a lot of tapestry, cross stitches and all that. And also I do a lot of uh, crosswords, sudoku. I, I buy books on all those things and I do a lot. Definitely at least 15, 10 to 15 minutes a day I do these things. What was Nayana Karnaratna's first job? I came into hairdressing two months after my 15th birthday. So I started my training from the age of 15 and a half now, I am a hairdresser. So my first job was also as a hairdresser. Who does Nayana Karunaratna confide in? Depending on the situation, I, I do confide in some of my friends. I, I have one or two very close friends that I confide in and uh, talk and take my problems out of my heart. Does Nayana Karunaratna meditate? Well, I have tried to meditate. Meditate, meditate, I can't do. I have, I, everybody says, do this Maitri Bhavana and all that, I can't do that. Um, but I do go for yoga. And uh, I think uh, to a great extent, there are times that I, I sit and unwind myself, but I, I wouldn't say meditate. How long has Nayana Karnath been in the beauty industry? I started when I was 15 years old and I'm going to be 65 in another few months. So all that time, it's going to be 50 years. Does Nayana Karnaratna believe in luck? No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't believe in luck. I, I believe in hard work. I believe in being sensible and being organized. Is Nayana Karnaratna content with her life? Yes, I certainly am. I'm certainly uh, content with my life. Uh, if you really want to list out things what we don't have, there, there are always long lists. But uh, I'm quite content and uh, I think I, I would say I'm content with the day.
where I was Nayana Karunaratna born. I am from Kalania and I was born at the Disoisa Nursing Home. Where I did Nayana Karunaratna school? I went to Bishop's College up to grade 8 and in my last three years, my uh, not so much that I wanted to but I think, uh, I, I don't know what the reason is but I think it's a financial reason that my mother wanted me to sit for the scholarship exam and I passed it. So the last three years I was at Visaka Vidyale but uh, other than that from uh, kindergarten I was at Bishop's College. When was Diana Karnatha born? I was born on 25th of October in 1954. How tall am I? In inches, 5'4". What is my secret to success? I would again say uh, I always have a plan. Working to a plan, being extremely organized, disciplined and uh, very hard working. I, I won't say no. I won't accept no. And I definitely believe that you can't say no and run my life. Do I have siblings? Yes. We are four of us. I am the second in the family. My sister is older. One year later, 13 months later, I was born. Then I have two brothers. Unfortunately, one is already, uh, one is dead. So we are two girls and two boys in our family. That was an interesting segment, Who Am I? It asked me and reminded me of who I really was and lots of things that I had forgotten. It was good, it was fun. We are into the final segment, Never Have I Ever. I don't know, I'm not looking forward to it very much, but let me try. Never have I ever walked barefoot on a main road. I have, many times, and I enjoyed it. Never have I ever wanted to be one of the Kardashians. Never have I ever set mine or someone else's house on fire. <laughs> I have never. Never have I ever had a nightmare about zombies chasing me. Oh, I have never. Never have I ever sung karaoke. Oh, I have. Very bad, but I have. Never have I ever been to a strip club. I have. It was in Bangkok. We were 13 girls with one man. And we took the gentleman to safeguard us. And I was shocked because we had to safeguard him. Nobody was bothered about us. So we enjoyed it. And But once is enough. That was enough. Never have I ever played volleyball. I have not. Never have I ever apologized and not meant it. I have, I think, many times. Never have I ever missed a high five. No, I have. I, I, I have not missed a high five. Never have I ever faked being sick. Me have in school, but no, not otherwise. Not after I became an adult. Never have I ever sung in the shower. In the middle. Because I have, I'm a very, uh, I have a quick shower, so I don't have time to be singing. In and out. Never have I ever worn sleepwear and pretended it was clothing. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Where once or twice in hotels when you, uh, when you had to go down for breakfast and when you are ready, I've worn pyjamas and high heels and gone down pretending they were. <laughs> Never have I ever been so scared of a horror movie that I couldn't sleep. I have. When I was a young girl, my mother took us to see Dracula. And I still remember my mother wore a Hakoba blouse because my eyes were on her blouse all the time. I remember what she wore. We were so scared. I remember what she wore. That was the first and the last Dracula film. Never have I ever pretended to laugh at a joke I didn't get. <laughs> I have once or twice. Never have I ever won a game of Scrabble. No. Never have I ever made a duck face when taking a selfie. <laughs> I have. I am not a selfie person. I am too old for selfies. Never have I ever thought a cartoon character was hot. No, I have never. Never have I ever reread an email immediately after sending it. I have and regretted many times, but now I am more careful. Never have I ever looked out the car's passenger seat window and imagined it was a scene from a movie. I think I have, I think I have quite a few times and that too when I was young and sometimes I had taken photographs of myself expecting me to look like that star and it never turned out that way, but I have. Never have I ever been on a fad diet? Tried, 
miserably failed. Never have I ever been on a safari ride. Never have I ever been to a casino. Well, I have once and enough. That was enough. Never have I ever gone scuba diving. <laughs> I've never, me have me and water. Sports, water sports and me, I know. I'm only there to walk on the beach. Never have I ever driven through red lights. <laughs> I have once or twice, I have. Never have I ever accepted a lift from a total stranger. I have never. Never have I ever gone white water rafting. Oh, I have, I have. And that once and that's enough, no more. Never have I ever played, never have I ever. Oh, well, this is the first time, never have. Never have I ever lied during the course of this game. <laughs> no, I did not lie. I enjoyed my uh, three sessions. It's different, different kind of an interview, fun, uh, very realistic at the same time. It, it t took me through my life's journey and uh, also gave me the chance of evaluating thinking because the questions that were asked made me think and uh, it was fun and I, I really hope that uh, the, the knowledge I gave or the, or the discussions I had would be of use to everyone who's listening. I really hope so.